Tyrese John Halliburton, an American professional basketball player, was born on February 29, 2000 and is now a member of the National Basketball Association Indiana Pacers. 185 pounds and 6 feet 5 inches make him a listed shooting guard and point guard. He was a member of the Iowa State Cyclones basketball team when he was taken by the Sacramento Kings with the 12th overall choice in the 2020 NBA Draft. In 2022, Halliburton was acquired by the Indiana Pacers along with DeMontis Sabonis in a trade package. In 2023, he was chosen as an East Reserve for his first ever All-Star game. On July 1, 2023, Halliburton and the Pacers came to an agreement on a maximum contract extension that may be worth up to $260 million over the course of five years. On that same day, it was revealed Halliburton was selected to represent the United States men's national team in the FIBA Basketball World Cup in 2023. He also became the first player in Pacers history to have at least 40 points and 10 assists in a single game. He became one of only four players in NBA history, along with John Stockton, Chris Paul, LeBron James, and James Harden, to record 30 points or more, 15 assists, and no turnovers in a single game. He also became the only player in NBA history to post 25-plus points, 15-plus assists, and zero turnovers in a row. On November 30th, in a 142-132 loss to the Miami Heat, Halliburton scored a career-high 44 points and dished out 10 assists. On December 4, Halliburton recorded his first career triple-double with 26 points, 10 rebounds, 13 assists, and no turnovers in a 122-112 victory over the Boston Celtics. In the NBA in-season tournament semifinals on December 7, Halliburton finished with 27 points, 15 assists, and 7 rebounds in a 128-119 victory over the Milwaukee Bucks. At the 2019 FIBA Under-19 World Cup in Heraklion, Greece, Halliburton led the United States to a gold medal and won all tournament team accolades. Halliburton worked closely with the U.S. Olympic men's basketball team during training camp in Las Vegas, Nevada, following his selection for the 2021 USA men's select team. This was in the run-up to the 2020 Tokyo Olympics when the U.S. won the gold medal for the 16th time. In 2023, Halliburton will represent the United States men's national team in the FIBA Basketball World Cup, which will take place in Pese, Philippines at the Mall of Asia Arena. He helped with the USA finish in fourth place and secure a spot in the 2024 Summer Olympics by leading the team in assists and steals. Halliburton played basketball for Oshkosh North High School in Oshkosh, Wisconsin as a sophomore. He was chosen for the Fox Valley Association's FVA defense and second teams. Halliburton had an average of 18 points, 6 assists, and 5 rebounds per game in his junior season despite the team's near miss in the state tournament. The Wisconsin Basketball Coaches Association selected him for Division I All-State and awarded him the FVA Player of the Year Award. As a senior, he averaged 22.9 points, 6.2 assists, 5.1 rebounds. On February 18, 2018, he scored a career-high 42 points against Kokana High School and West Virginia prospect Jordan McCabe. In the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association Division I State Championship game, Halliburton scored 31 points, including 24 in the second half, and converted 18 of his 18 free throw tries in a victory against Brookfield East High School. For his program, this was the first state championship. He was voted Wisconsin Gatorade Player of the Year and Oshkosh Northwestern All-Area Player of the Year. In addition to being chosen as the FVA Co-Player of the Year, Halliburton was selected for the WBCA Division I All-State and USA Today All-USA teams. Three-star recruit status was his rating from many recruiting organizations. He was the first true freshman in NCAA Division I history to have at least 50 steals and 30 blocks Aside from Zion Williamson, in his sophomore campaign on November 11, 2019, Halliburton won Big 12 Player of the Week. He finished the Battle for Atlantis on November 27 with a season-high 25 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists, leading Michigan to an 83-76 loss. On January 4, 2020, Halliburton scored 22 points, grabbed 12 rebounds, and disheveled 10 assists in a loss against TCU in overtime. Since Monty Morris in 2016, this was the first triple-double by an Iowa State athlete. He was chosen as the Big 12 Player of the Week for the second time. On February 8, Halliburton was ruled out for the rest of the season due to a fractured left wrist sustained during a game against Kansas State. He averaged 15.2 points, 5.9 rebounds, 
6.5 assists, and 2.5 steals per game as a sophomore. Halliburton was included in the second team of the All Big 12. During the season, he announced that he would enter the 2020 NBA Draft and forego his remaining NCAA basketball eligibility. In the first round of the 2020 NBA Draft, Halliburton was selected by the Sacramento Kings with the 12th pick. On November 27, 2020, the Kings publicly announced that Halliburton had been signed. On December 23, 2020, Halliburton made his NBA debut, providing 12 points, 4 assists, 2 rebounds, and a block in a 124-122 overtime win over the Denver Nuggets. Halliburton came off the bench in a 123-111 loss against the Washington Wizards. On April 14, 2021, Halliburton recorded a career-high six steals. On May 2, 2021, while playing against the Dallas Mavericks, Halliburton injured his left knee. It was announced that Halliburton would sit out the remaining seven games of the 2020-21 Kings season as a precaution. On January 29, 2022, in a 103-101 loss to the Philadelphia 76ers, Halliburton led the Kings with a then-career-high 38 points, three rebounds, seven assists, and two steals. On February 5, Halliburton recorded his then-career-high 17 assists, in addition to 13 points, six rebounds, and two steals in a 113-103 victory over the Oklahoma City Thunder. On February 8, 2022, Buddy Hyle, Tristan Thompson, Halliburton, DeMontis Sabonis, Justin Holliday, Jeremy Lamb, and a 2023 second-round selection were moved to the Pacers. Halliburton made his club debut on February 11 against the Cleveland Cavaliers, scoring 23 points with six assists, three rebounds, and three steals in the Pacers' 120-113 loss. In his second game with the Pacers, Halliburton finished with 22 points and 16 assists in a loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves on February 13. Halliburton recorded his first win with the Pacers on February 16 by defeating the Washington Wizards 113-108. He also finished with 21 points and 14 assists. Halliburton participated in the NBA's 2022 Rising Stars Challenge alongside teammate Chris Duarte. The 75th season of the Clorox Clutch Challenge took place during the 2022 NBA All-Star Weekend, and Desmond Bain and Halliburton became winners. In his first game back with his former team, a one-point loss to the Sacramento Kings on March 23rd, Halliburton finished with 13 points, 15 assists, and three steals on April 1 in a loss to the Boston Celtics. Halliburton scored 30 points in 25 minutes off of effective field goal, three-point, and free-throw shooting. In the next game on April 3, Halliburton had 19 points, 17 assists, 9 rebounds, and 0 turnovers against the Detroit Pistons, which was the most assists in a game by a Pacer since TJ McConnell in the 2020-21 campaign. That's it, gentlemen. Continue to subscribe to and support our channel. Post your ideas in the space provided for comments below. Thank you, and see you later.